Hello, hello, and welcome to Explaining the Meta, Monstrous Infantry. So today we're going to be talking about Monstrous Infantry, what they do, what the strengths and weaknesses are, and how they fit into your armies. As per usual, this video will be primarily geared towards domination mode, though it can help you out in land battles or campaign as well. Let's get right into it. So, Monstrous Infantry, Chaos Spawn, Minotaurs, Rad Ogres, whatever you got. So, the big characteristics of Monstrous Infantry are low model count, usually 12 or 16, high weapon strength, and a healthy HP pool, though that can vary. The first usage of these guys is just layered right on top of your infantry, like so. They add a lot of punching power to your front line. Back them up a little bit. Putting them on top of your infantry like this allows them to fight on the front lines and apply their hefty, hefty weapon strength without taking a lot of hits. The infantry underneath will soak hits for them, just take the extra that damage for them, and then basically act as an extra extended HP pool for your monster infantry. And it adds a lot of punching power to your front line, as well as protecting the infantry from larger threats, be it chariots or cavalry, because if a cav unit or a chariot tries to charge into this, they'll hit the spawn and stop moving and won't continue to move through doing more damage. So this combo right here of just a spawn or a minotaur or a troll, whatever, on top of infantry, does a lot to help your front line fight. Just, you know, it applies a lot more damage, as well as being a little more resilient against most large threats. Now, that's not the only thing they can do. They're also quite good, specifically many of the anti-large variants, at just surrounding single entities or chariots and just beating the absolute crap out of them. Because of their high mass, they can hold large targets in place, which allows you to just get consistent damage on them and can really, really punish those single entities or low model count units. <clears throat> Even Chaos Spawn without a bonus versus large are really good for surrounding an enemy lord or you know a big demon and just beating the absolute crap out of them. So, those are the two primary aggressive uses for Monster Infantry. If you're playing a faction like, say, Skaven, you're going to be using Monster Infantry in a little bit of a different way, more defensively. Uh, Rat Ogres for Skaven are their only real source of mass, so they are really just used to catch enemy flanking threats, usually large ones. Things like those Chariots or Single Entities, you're going to be using them on your sides, usually with infantry to support them, to catch those kinds of threats and hold them in place so that they can't run over whatever your weapon team or missile unit you're protecting. So those are the primary uses of Monster Infantry in competitive multiplayer. Thank you so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.